this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 video. In today's video I will be showing you tips and tricks and how to merge objects. I will put chapters down below so you can see which things you want if you're not interested in the whole video. So let's get started. At some point in the past somebody realised that if you have an area in your camp where an object will go through the ground but stay green that if you put something on top of it you can actually merge those ob objects together. Now obviously this is one way of doing it and this is the reason that I built a lot in this area in New Gad is because I happen to know that there was an area that you could do this. Now this works but it can be quite tricky and it is not always very precise. Um, but recently somebody realised that the reason this works is because the shelves in this instance are lowering through the ground but the objects on top of it are not. When you let go the shelves go back to the original position. Somebody realised that a pressure plate lowers when you stand on it. So you can get the same effect with a pressure plate if you stand on it. It can be a bit tricky. Because it's a small, smaller depression, it's slower, but you get a lot more precision. The other advantage of using a pressure plate is that it will work in a shelter. I've used this for various things. I use this for putting items on shelves. I've also used this for hiding a generator in a stash box. Now if you do hide a uh, generator in another object of furniture, be aware that you will have to wire it up before you merge it. Now I use these little blueprinted conduit on a plant because if you can actually select the plant <laughs> if you wire it up and then move the underneath object you can use mats if you don't have these plant pots or that once you've moved it once you can keep moving it and it will stay connected It will also go through objects like walls. Now this is a bit of a slow, slow approach doing it with the pressure plate, but you can do it quite quickly. So we have our generator hidden in our stash box and what I generally do with these is that I will hide this In a wall. You can either hide it in the gap between two walls but you will need to take the wall off or you can hide it in a doorway. Just convert the wall to a doorway and then back to a wall and that will power I've powered whole camps using that technique you may also have seen something which is called a reverse merge and I'm going to show you how to create a flat screen TV using a reverse merge taking two of these console tables you can use a regular bookshelf and what you need to do is, with the backs facing you, is you need to attach a painting. I use this large one. The lower the better. Make sure it's centred. Remove the top table. Then using your camp widget, Select and release, select and release, and you actually have a reverse merge where two ob objects separate. The top ob object will go higher. And this way you 
can create the illusion of a flat screen TV. You can add a light behind it if you wish. You can use this light or if you have it, I prefer this light. It gives a nice soft glow effect. You just push your table up against the wall. If you want an on off button, if you have these pink lights, you can add a full stop to give you a glowing button. Obviously it looks much better at night. <laughs> I've used this technique quite a lot recently. I built a shower with a shower stool using this conduit. I did build a shower using this conduit without the stool in my LA house but you have to line conduits up, take them away to get them through the wall. This is much easier. Obviously the object, the floating object is dependent on the object underneath. So if you take the stool away, you will lose the conduit. You can add controls using lights. I've been recently using this equal sign, but you can also use the letters that you got from Biv. This conduit and the pressure plate come with the plan advanced power connectors which is available from vendors although some plans are level dependent so don't expect to find it at level 10. The other thing you may have seen is floating kitchen cabinets that again is done with reverse merge technique. I do actually, you stack two of these together and I have actually um, blueprinted this so that they're perfectly aligned. You place them up against a wall like this, then you take each one and you put it on your camp widget. and snap it back. Now I have found with this sometimes, like this, it does not, does not line up. Um, what I tend to do with this, if this happens, and it happens pretty much all the time, <laughs> is I take it back onto a pressure plate because the pressure plate does very small increments you can usually get a good approximation and sometimes you might have to do it a few times being tricky today. So there you have it. You can also combine these two techniques. I combined this technique to make a hanging flower basket. You take this tulip basket and hide an upwards pointing power conduit in it. There, after, after a few attempts, sometimes you lose your position on the power plate, you have to readjust take your item off, sometimes it's easier to start again. Put your basket 
on a stool. Take it over to your camp widget. Do your reverse merge. Push it up against a wall. You need to now take a flat power conduit, place it above, connect your two power conduits. Now quite often like this, it's not completely lined up, just move your stool. You may need to move it out or in as well to get the angle on the side right, but now you have a hanging basket. I've just put some lights up as it's getting dark. The other way of merging objects is by using a flamer trap. You can put, sometimes with solid pieces of furniture, you can flamer trap one, then place another object where the flamer trapped object is and merge and repair the original object. It does work sometimes, but not always with furniture. However, it does seem to work quite well with walls. So, for example, if you watched my Nature Lover's Cabin, you'll see the fireplace trick. I won't go over all of it today. But what is relevant for this video is how to merge it so that both sides stick out of a wall. So, if you place your object, in this case I'm using a regular fireplace, halfway across the wall, you want to make sure, because this fireplace has a back, that it's not completely over. Then you flame a trap it. You can put walls behind it. Then when you repair it, it will be through the wall. This also works with foundations. You can place an item on the ground, flame a trap it, Then you can, yes I know I'm being attacked by protectrons, my turrets should take care of them. <laughs> As you can see, you can only see this object in um, build mode, the yellow, that it's, if you click, at, click repair, the item will be repaired and it will be embedded in the foundation. You can also use a flamer trap to combine walls to create different uh, interesting effects. In my Diamond Jack cabin I showed you how to combine a doorway and the glass panels to produce a privacy window in a bathroom, a small window at the top. You can do different things with this, I will show you. If you take two half walls like this. I'm using the blue set. It works with the barn set and the wood set as far as I know. I haven't tried other sets. And you flame a trap them. You can actually put another wall over the top. Now for this example I'm going to show you. I'm going to add wallpaper first to this large wall. Then I'm going to repair the half wall. They're sometimes difficult to select, but if you go to the side and you can see on the top right that it's got half wall half, select and repair it. If you now press X and store scrap replace, replace this half wall with a glass one and the same with the top one, repair and replace with the glass. Now select your full wall 
and replace it with these shutters. Oh, I replaced that with the wrong thing. Now what you have is you have shutters with glazed windows and you can glaze all of the windows in this way. I have a vague recollection that the brick set you can jump through a single window so if you put glass in it it will stop people from doing that if you want to keep your camp locked. You can also do it to create different effects I noticed recently that while experimenting with this you can create different textures so for example here this is two barn walls and a full log cabin set and you get this interesting red st stripe effect so experiment, have fun, and merge whatever you like. The only thing I've ever had a problem merging and I still haven't found a solution to is this little stove under appliances. In the early days I noticed that you could get a lantern in it so it looked like it was glowing. But then they changed the collisions, made the collisions bigger and it stopped working and I have tried merging it with a, with a pressure plate I've tried merging it by flame trapping it and I haven't found a solution so if someone does have a solution please let me know I will credit you with that so I hope this was informative I hope it was fun if you have any questions um, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them that's all from me today. Thank you for watching.